So, what are you most looking forward to this season? Then? <laughs> uh, I've been so far from the scripts that I'm reading. The thing that most moves me and that is most compelling to me is the Nora West Allen storyline. Uh, she has some really great scenes with Grant uh, in, in the first few episodes, and it's just um, without revealing too much. It's a dynamic that uh, that just it, it gets me in some really emotional places, uh, and so I look forward to seeing how they explore that and seeing sort of how it comes out when it airs. Yeah. What about Cisco? I don't know. What about Cisco? Cisco is uh, Cisco's in pain. Yeah, he uh, he's fresh from from a breakup. Uh, I think at the beginning of season five, he hasn't really had the time to process the breakup yet. So he's being a little irresponsible, I think, generally. So I think uh, fans can expect a bit of a learning curve on his part. With regards to being able to move on from the breakup. Uh, however, I think both Caitlin and Ralph see this as an opportunity to try to help their friend. So there are definitely some hijinks in store with regards to uh, Cisco moving on from the breakup. Is he going to explore his powers in another way? Uh, I will say that Cisco's powers will be challenged in a way that they've never been challenged before. In a very unique and um, perilous way. Yeah. Is he going to be more secure now with the powers because of some problem or like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, like, you know, mm -hmm. so is he going to be more, you know, secure? I think he's definitely at a place uh, where he's comfortable with his powers and he's confident uh, using his powers for good out in the field to help Barry and help the team and help him save Central City, uh, but I also think that he feels a certain um, allegiance to the, to the Cortex, because I think working with computers, working with weaponry, working with suits, working with naming the villains, I think that's the stuff that he's really good at, you know, and even though he's self-aware and confident with his abilities out in the field, I think there is still a part of him that feels that maybe his, his comfort zone is more inside the Star Wars. You know what I mean? Yeah. When it comes to those, uh, when, it, when it comes to those uh, new names and new devices and new suits, uh, can you uh, tease us with anything? Yes. Uh, there is. Uh, trying to make this as vague as possible. There is a new suit. I'm not going to say whose suit it is, but there is some form of a new suit coming very early on. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> what went through your mind when you read the first script for the first episode this season? I thought it was good. I thought it was, I thought it was pretty strong for a, a season five open. Uh, New um, new problems are are, are presented. Um, time tested relationships are tested in a unique way. Um, like I said, the introduction of Nora is like, is, is a big part of it. But also, you know, to have uh, Hartley and Danny Nicolay and Jessica be a regular part of our show, I think that imbues our dynamic with a different color. It's, it makes the energy on set feel different and I think it's a fresh energy that we like and that we need right now. So I'm, I'm excited to explore more. The episode one is under it. Sorry, Crunch no time. Go ahead. The episode one is under it is coming. Can you yeah. expect something big? You can expect Tom Cavanaugh to direct it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the hundred. So the hundred. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yeah.